Hey guys, what's going on? It's Imaginary World. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how to make a flute preset in Ableton. Um, it's very easy. I see some people talking about flute VSTs and that kind of thing, and I just never have seen the need for one because you can just sample a flute. Uh, it's really easy. So um, this is what we're going to be taking a look at. This is a, from my beat that I put out yesterday on my YouTube channel. It's called Reckless Youth. Um, it's available on my BeatStars page as well. It'll be linked in the description, but let's go ahead and play it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a simpler. The reason why I'm using simpler is because uh, it comes in every version of Ableton. So everyone's going to have this version, whereas sampler, not everyone's going to have it. So let's go ahead and drag in our sample. Um, that is the only caveat is you do need a sample. It's not hard to find a flute sample. And I'll show you the exact one that I'm using here. It's a great sample. Uh, Decap. Uh, melodic one shot bamboo flute long medium C sharp and basically if I play it uh, that's it so first things first I always tune my samples so I'll press a C on the keyboard as you can see we're pressing a C and even though this sample says it's C sharp it's actually a flat so what we're going to do is we're going to go up, whoops, four semitones. Now we got a C. Now, um, the next thing you might be noticing is this sample, you can kind of hear it. It's heavier on the right side. Um, so it's not coming through the left as much. What I did is I just put a utility on and I just put it in mono. I didn't really, I didn't really need it to be stereo. I'm gonna put a reverb on afterwards, so I don't really care if the flute sample is in mono. Um, from here, what you can do is you can put a glide on. I did. I put a glide on, so you can pitch bend some notes, and you can set the how how long it's gonna take, like a slide whistle. Um, I found somewhere around 40 sounded good to me, so I just kept it there. Um, other than that, I really didn't have to do much. Um, it, oh yeah, also I, you can set the voices down to one. So you can't play chords, but if you have glide set, then it doesn't matter anyways. So other than that, um, that is really how I set up the basis for this. And then this is where you can get fun with it and do some other stuff. So the first thing I want to show is you can mess around with, um, the ADSR here. Um, so, for example, if you want it to be like kind of more of a, a stab, um, take the sustain down, maybe increase the decay a little bit. And if you could turn up the release, it can be like a one shot. You know, you can just mess around with it. Um, really for me though, I liked, I just wanted it to be a, just a basic flute. So if we play it now. You can hear that pitch bend in there. From here, you can put your effects on. I put a reverb on. Um, we'll go ahead and just use the Valhalla room again. Put it on after the utility, so it'll be in stereo. And then um, from there, really you would just go ahead and set the settings. So I'll just... Now from here, one thing I do recommend is if you do like what you have, if you click one end, hold shift, click the other end, it'll highlight everything. And then what you can do is you can group them and then you have like an instrument rack. And then if you want to save it, you just click this little button here and I named mine MWO flute and you can just do MWO flute two, for example. And then every time you want a flute, you just go to your uh, instrument rack, pull it over and it loads up everything for you exactly how you had it. And that's how you make a flute preset in Ableton. So again, one more time, just so we can, uh, Hear how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys liked it go ahead and subscribe like it and comment if you have any questions leave them down below i'll answer your questions um, but really other than that you guys have a great day and thanks for watching